Hello, hello, what's up my dudes? Today in this video, we're going to have a quick and easy rundown on how I prepare and top coat my panel with polyurethane. So first, before we top coat, we must prepare our wood by sanding. I sand my wood starting with 120 grit and then 180 grit. And then I trim the edges of my panel before top coating because if you do it the other way around, tatanggalin mo lang yung top coat. So this is the proper sequence, edge trim and then top coat. So ano nga ba ang polyurethane? Ang polyurethane ay isang liquid plastic and will dry. It is a very durable top coat which is strong against water, weathering, and traffic. This is the best option when you're going to use your furniture for outdoors or for furniture that is subject to water and lots of wear and tear. This top coat ranges from glossy to satin to matte. In this video, I'm using the satin finish because it is the sweet spot for that nice sheen and professional look. It is not too glossy and it is not too matte. That's why I love this finish. And I'm using a sponge to apply the polyurethane on my panel. If you don't have a spray, using foam is the next best thing. Now that we're done with our first coat, before we apply the second coat, we must sand between each coat. So I use 400 grit sandpaper here just to remove the slight roughness and so that you can apply your second coat smoothly. And this in turn will result in a very smooth finish. So a very quick reminder, always stir your polyurethane, never shake always stir before using. I let each coat dry overnight but the minimum waiting time is around 6 hours. You can apply your next coat in 6 hours but to be fully sure that your polyurethane is fully cured, let it sit for overnight. You will know that it is fully cured, that it is fully dried if it is dry to the touch Hindi malagkit, walang kalagkit lagkit. There will be no sticky feeling whatsoever. So there, that's a good indicator when it is fully dried. Now we're almost done. We are at our third coat. And as you can see, it is very smooth now. I can apply the polyurethane very smoothly. That's because of the sanding in between using 400 grit and letting it dry completely. Kasi kung di nyo pinatuyo ng maigit as pinatungan nyo na, medyo malagkit pa siya. Kaya hindi siya maganda applyan habang hindi pa siya tuyo. So here we are after our third coat. So a quick rundown before I continue. We did three coats of polyurethane satin, sanding in between each coat with 400 grit. And now after the third coat has properly cured, it's dry to the touch, it's super dry. It has a bit of roughness to it pa rin, so we will sand with a thousand grit. Okay, para maniwala kayo na one thousand grit nga, and I'm not lying. A thousand grit, there. So after the third coat, and to give a very nice and smooth finish, very nice to the touch, we will sand with a thousand grit, very lightly sanding, just going through. You don't need to remove any material or remove any roughness. Just these light strokes will do. Not putting any weight. And then the end grain, the sides. Yep. And we're done. So. This is the satin finish, as you can see. Wait, I think you can't see. So this is the satin finish. Whoopsie. There's no glossiness to it, but it has a nice sheen. Reflective enough and not matte 
enough na mahirap siyang linisin, madali siyang linisin dahil ang smooth nga niya. It is water resistant, weather resistant, and I think scratch resistant. Yep, scratch resistant then. So this is perfect for very wear and tear furniture or outdoor for furniture. And if you like the satin finish, this is for you. This is my favorite finish as well. So, yep, like, subscribe, comment, share this video, all those lovely stuff. And stay tuned for more DIYs, tips, tool reviews, and the like. So, see you in the next one. Bye!